what's up guys it's your boy Benghazi again so over the years i made so many mistakes when i was trying to grow out my beard due to that i didn't see the kind of results i wanted to see because of those mistakes however i was able to figure out that i was making so many mistakes that was preventing me from seeing the kind of results i wanted to see that's why today i decided to come and share with you guys some of those mistakes i made so that you not go and commit the kind of mistakes too so without wasting much of your time as usual stick around and make sure you like and subscribe to the channel mistake number one was buying the wrong products oh yeah when i started growing my beard there where or oh, there are still a lot of products out there in the market that are being advertised to people who are trying to grow out their beard however most of these products are not meant for beard growth but this this these companies or these sellers tell you that too it's gonna help you grow your beard in one week or two weeks or something like that because of that we all went i and my friends we all went out and bought a lot of product bunch of products and we trust me we use i used over six products when i was trying to grow my beard and i didn't see any kind of results or i didn't see the kind of results i wanted to see not knowing that those products were not the right product i needed to use because I didn't know that the only product so far, the only product that has been scientifically proved for beard growth is Aminoxidil. So I didn't buy those kind of products. I went and bought those beard wash, beard oil, beard cream, beard balm, and trust me, none of those products helped me. None of them at all. That's why today I'm coming to share with you guys. If you are somebody who is trying to grow out his beard or is trying to grow beard freshly, Make sure that you don't buy those products. Go and get at least a Demarola and a Minoxidil. That's what is going to help you achieve some results because those products, you you can use the whole company's product and you're not going to see anything on your face, trust me. Those kind of products, I'm not saying that they are not good. They are good, but for people who already have beard, like somebody like me right now, if I buy those products, it's going to help me because most of them help you with the nourishing and the skin and all that they prevent itchiness and so many things they help but then they are not meant for beard growth that was the mistake i did and it cost me a lot of money so try as much as possible not to commit that kind of mistake, mistake number two is expecting a result overnight oh yeah i'm sure i'm not the only person who has made that mistake i'm sure most of you guys here are still making that mistake guys I keep saying this thing beard doesn't grow overnight you know this links to the first point that i just made you know about buying the wrong product you know most people go and buy those products because the the sellers promise you an overnight um, results and all that so people also get fooled and go and buy those products expecting to apply it to the sleep and wake up the following day with a beard like mine oh no nah, it doesn't happen that way if you are expecting to grow a beard like that then trust me my brother you're gonna be disappointed big time beard doesn't grow overnight or there are some <laughs> uh, there are a lot of products out there that will tell you that you'll be able to grow a beard within two weeks they are all lies bro they are all lies no any products on this earth can help you grow your beard in two weeks however they can help you some of them like the one i mentioned the combination of a demarola and a minoxidil can help you start seeing results as early as two weeks depending on your genetics you understand but you can never grow a full beard within two weeks so stop expecting an overnight um results and have a little bit of patience because beard doesn't it takes time you understand it takes time for you even just check yourself how how long did it take you to be looking the way you are looking so many years so why should you be expecting to grow a beard within one week or an overnight nah it doesn't happen that way so have a little bit of patience and trust the process you understand don't shave your beard for 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 for, for a couple of weeks and see you you're gonna you're gonna see a lot of results so yes beard doesn't grow overnight don't go and commit that mistake thinking that you're gonna go and buy that magic product apply it then you wake up with a full beard the following day nah it doesn't happen now. mistake number three is combing your beard when it is dry Oh yeah this is another bs mistake that i did which was or which stopped my beard from growing faster you know most people tend to be combing their beard whenever or wherever they want to comb it that's not how you should be treating your beard because 
whenever you comb your beard in its dry stage what happens is whenever you finish combing your beard just look at the sink or look at your surrounding and see you're gonna see a lot of beard or hair wherever you are because it has caused breakage in your beard that's the reason why you don't want to be combing your beard when it is dry the only time you should comb your beard is when you're out of the shower or when it is wet when you've applied some kind of moisture to it that's when you should be combing your beard because if you don't do that or if you always comb it when it is dry it's gonna cause breakage even skin irritation because at that moment your skin is it's gonna pull it's gonna be pulling your skin and all that and it's kind of painful i know you guys can testify to that it's kind of painful whenever you do that so i was doing that a lot and I, there was a time I wanted to get my beard looking this way, but I wasn't seeing it like growing as fast as I wanted to see it. So I realized that it was the process or it was the way I was treating the beard. That was the reason why it wasn't growing that way. So when I started combing my beard, whenever it was wet or whenever it was wet, that was when I started seeing the length because it stopped breaking and all that. And trust me, I see myself a lot of pains. I wasn't feeling any pains when I was combing my beard and all. This is specifically for those who already have something on their face. Don't ever comb your beard when it is dry. You, you, you get it. Just try as much as possible to apply a little bit of moisture, water. You can even use just water. And then the mistake number four was shaving off my beard regularly. Oh yeah, this is another big one. You know, there's a myth out there that shaving makes the hair grow faster that's the biggest lie i've ever heard when it comes to growing beard you know i well i i also believe that when i heard it for the first time because for some reason i don't know it sounds logical to me that yes when i shave it then it grows back again i shave it grows back that will make the beard thicker and all that not knowing that that was what was even killing my game you get it especially if you are using um a minoxidil one of the biggest mistakes you'll be doing is shaving off your beard whilst it is in its um, growth stage you don't have to do that because whenever you shave off your beard what happens is you restart the growth process so what you should be doing right now is at least allow the beard to grow to grow out give yourself i know most of you don't have patience you know most of you like to do this kind of farm boy thing so you don't want to be walking around looking all messy and all that but trust me you just have to pass through the process after that you're gonna enjoy your beard gain allow your beard to grow for about two months not don't touch it don't do anything to it. it i know it's gonna look rough on you your face is gonna look like you are a caveman and all that but then after the two months trust me, you're going to see a whole lot of difference all the edges and all the places you think are not growing are gonna grow especially if you are doing the writing using the minoxidil and the derma roller it's gonna help you mistake number five which is the last mistake i'm going to talk about today is using a lot of products this actually links to the first um, point that i made which is um, um buying the wrong products you know like i said uh, there are a lot of advertisement out there that is convincing us that this product that product is gonna work this product Due to that, a lot of people, or what I did was, like I told you guys, I went and bought a whole bunch of products and I was using all of them at the same time, not knowing that that shouldn't be the case. For instance, if you are somebody who is even using a minoxidil right now and you still using, because I know some people go and buy minoxidil and then buy a beard oil at the same time and be using them at the same time, which is not good because Whenever you apply something to your face, even your normal pomade to your face after using the minoxidil, what happens is it hinders the absorption or it dilutes the content of the minoxidil, you get it. So because of that, it doesn't help or it doesn't make you get the full benefit of the product. So it's going to take you so many times. That's why people will come and be like, minoxidil never works for me and all that. But then that product actually works. I'm telling you, if you are somebody who is not if you are somebody who is not experiencing any kind of side effects, stick to it. Well, not everybody sees results as early as like some of us you get it. For some people, it takes about a month or two to be able to see results. Some even see results as early as two weeks. And for some people, those are the hard gainers. They don't even see results at all till after six months. 
So yeah, it doesn't mean the product doesn't work. It's just that your gene or you are not somebody who is able to grow beard faster. So don't go and use or don't go and buy so many products and be using them at the same time. Like I told you guys, forget about all the beard wash, beard balm, beard spray, beard oil, beard... <laughs> Forget about all those things, guys. Just get these two that I told you. The Demarola and the beard oil. Well, the, sorry, the Demarola and the Minoxidil. You can add a beard oil to it, but, listen to me, I said but, make sure that you only use the beard oil 30 minutes after or the following morning. For instance, you can use the Minoxidil now, then wait 30 minutes after or sleep with like overnight use it overnight or sleep with it then the following morning you apply the beard oil to it that is allowed and then you don't you don't use the minoxidil and then right away apply the beard oil again nah that's not what you do allow that one to wait for you if god willing you are able to grow a beard like mine then you can forget about the um the minoxidil and start using the beard oil and the beard wash and the beard balm that's if you can afford those things and then for now, don't go and waste your money. Stick to this kind of two products or stick to one product. If you, if you can't afford the demo roller, just use the minoxidil alone. It's gonna help you. So yeah, guys, these are some of the five mistakes. There are a lot of mistakes, but because of time, I don't want to talk about all of them here. Maybe in the subsequent videos, I'm gonna make another video on part two of this. So make sure that you don't commit these mistakes, guys, because I want all of you guys to come and join the gang, beard gang. So I hope you enjoyed the video and it is very informative to you. If there is anything, like I always say, if there is anything you want me to talk about concerning beard, muscle growth, anything at all, just leave it in the comment section. And it's going to help me a lot if you like the video and subscribe for me, because this is all we do we just helping each other you get it let me just leave you guys here and see you guys in the next video peace